Hey, Michael with X-Force PC. I want to talk about the uh, new Threadripper chips that came out. And so if you don't know what Threadripper is, it's made by AMD and it's a HEDT processor, which stands for high-end desktop. And you would not use this for gaming, typically. Um, this is used for high-end programs like AutoCAD and uh 3D modeling and rendering, video editing, desktop publishing, things that can use lots and lots of cores. But where these typically fall down is when they run programs that only use a single core. Have you ever wondered if X-Plane was heavily single-threaded? I'll put a screenshot of the task manager uh, running X-Plane or when, while X-Plane is running. Um, and this is on the Threadripper, and as you can see, it, it really just hits one core most of the time. Now, hopefully, when Vulkan comes out, which uh, will go into beta hopefully in December of 2019, this is November of 2019, um, that will make this situation a little bit better. But x never going to use all 32 cores, or at least no time soon, and no game will. But the question is, can you still run X-Plane on this processor? And no one should buy this chip for X-Plane. This is if you're buying this chip for some other purpose and you also would say, ah, I wouldn't mind running X-Plane on it. Or do I have to buy a separate machine just for running X-Plane? Well, this hopefully will answer that question. So what I did, we're very busy right now with Christmas orders, and I just did a simple test. I put myself at LaGuardia Airport with the rendering options you're seeing up on the screen right now. And I let it sit there for like a minute or two until the frame rate stabilized, and I just jotted down the frame rate. And I did this on a single 1080p display, three 1080p displays, and a single 4K display. And I did it across three processors. One is the Ryzen 3800X, the Intel i5-9600K, and then the Threadripper. Now, I'll put those results up, and as you'll see, I've got it really written down here on a piece of paper. Um, on a single 1080p, um, there's really not much of a penalty by going with the Threadripper versus the Ryzen. Um, again, you would go with the Ryzen unless you need a Threadripper. You wouldn't buy a Threadripper for X-Plane. So there's only a small penalty between the Ryzen 3800X and going with a Threadripper. You only lose a few frames per second. But you'll also notice that the Intel processor, which only costs $200, is beating both of these chips. And that's because, for whatever reason, Intel has always run X-Plane better, at least for a very long time. Now, hopefully with Vulkan, that will level that out. But right now, um, the Intel still has a you know a good 25% margin here, and so the 9600K right now can be gotten for about $220, uh, and it's the highest performing one. The 3800X is about 300 and something dollars, I believe, and then this, this Threadripper is two grand for the just for the chip, and then the motherboard is like $450. So. Um, your best bet, if you're building a system just for X-Plane, or you is well, come to us, buy one from us. But uh, if you're building one yourself, is going to be still Intel. Now, Vulkan could completely turn this upside down, but currently uh, the Intel is the better. But as far as the question, can the third gen Threadripper run X-Plane effectively? If you're running a single 4K display, or a single 1080p display, it does a fine job. If you run three 1080p displays as individual windows of X-Plane, uh, it, it's a little lacking. You'll see here we're down at 20 frames per second. Um, so yeah, if you're using a single 1080p or a single 4K, you can certainly run uh, X-Plane on the Threadripper third generation. And it, its per thread performance is almost as good as the Ryzen third generation. Hopefully that helps. Quick little test uh, just to give you an idea of how it works.